All right, guys, we're back with the moment from Cobra. This one is really unique and actually has a lot of really cool features and uh, the quality of it is really, really something. This is a hook style release. And uh, I just want you guys to kind of pay attention to a couple things here. Number one, I have it unlocked here so you can move it. So it's gonna spin like this if you need to retract or extend it, depending on what you're doing uh, for your length. But once you have it, you just you know set it to where you want, left hand, right hand. So from right hand, I go this way, take my tool, and we're just gonna tighten it here, little screw. And that's it. Locks it in place. This has an amazing trigger. Uh, I, I was playing with it, I was telling Kevin, I really like this one. It has a really nice trigger, it's a hook style. Um, very comfortable strap. And what did we learn about the strap? Well, one thing, and it's got a glow in the dark feature. So if you drop it Reflective, out in the woods, yeah. the, the word cobra is reflective. It'll help you. Yeah, you shine final. your flashlight and you'll see it reflect. What we are talking about in the last uh, release, this one actually has a true fold back. Yeah. So you can see it actually goes in three positions. So right. that's obviously awesome. You know, it definitely it locks nice and tight yeah. and can come back around. Um, again, again, we talk about comfort, super comfortable. This one has a really nice button on it here. It says Cobra Archery on it. Um, and what this one has a little different is if you want, this has a quick release to get out. So if you decide, you know what, I just want to take it off you can do that with this one. So it's very, very nice. All right, so let's put it through the firing line. Again, hook style, so it's a little bit different. If you don't know, hook style is gonna have only one side gonna be on at all times. Um, some people like it, some people hate it, so it just depends on what you wanna try. Um, but that's how it works. And the trigger on this is really nice. It actually can handle a decent amount of pressure here. So it's nice because if you get used to that and that's the way you like it, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you can see I'm hitting it, it's not just going nuts. Yeah. Gives you a little flexibility. Also, real quick, on the release itself, there's these grooves for your fingers, which is actually nice. So yeah. in, in the draw cycle, I can put my fingers there, feel comfortable, come over the top. And now I'm in position here to take my shot and do it that way, you get used to the trigger again. Everybody, if you buy any release, you should be firing tons of shots out of it to get used to the feel um, and how, when it turns, when yeah. it's gonna go. One thing about that trigger, like you're tapping on it and everything, there are adjustments on there for the sensitivity and the weight. Correct. So you can play with yep. it for your own, whatever you like. Some people like a hair trigger, they just wanna touch it and it goes. Other people like the feel of you know being able to pull that trigger. Uh, before it goes off and let it surprise them. You know? Yeah, some people want that quick shot. It's a great point. I'm glad you yeah. brought that up. So it's so that, two adjustments there. Yeah, not only sensitivity, but the weight of the pull. And they're not hard to do. It's There's two little adjustment screws on there you can uh, use your tool on and easily adjust it. Yep, so just a quick spin with the Allen wrench. Both those holes are in the inside here, so very easy to, very flexible, very easy to use. Again, quick way to put it away. Um, this one goes for about $110, and again, you can buy it direct on the Cobra website right now if you want it. So mm -hmm. definitely a great option. If you're a hook style shooter and love that type, that's cool. Now, some people really like the hook, and let me tell you why. When you're in the field and you got your bow, so let's say I'm in the field, I got my bow, and I grab my bow, I see a deer coming, right? I'm like, okay, I gotta get on. I just go, you know, I literally look at it because obviously it's hard to do if you can't look at it, but you could feel it on probably. Yep, I did it there. So now I'm on, I have a little pressure on just so I know I'm on, but some people keep their thumb like this just to make sure it's not gonna come off, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit faster is my point. You hook it, you got your thumb on it, you don't have to worry about opening or closing, and then if the deer approaches, you take the shot, you know? So it makes for a very simple, but very effective method and so people love that for hunting you know they do all right guys that's the moment um check out on cobra's website and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to another one now